Hi, this is Trinity, Julie, Julie, and Rachel, and this is our video on resting membrane potential. Now, I know one of the world's most burning questions is, what on earth is going on when a neuron is at its resting state, and what is a membrane, a resting membrane potential? Well, when a neuron is at its resting state or is not conducting electrical signals, it would seem activity is at a minimum or even non-existent. In actuality, several processes are taking place. First of all, the resting membrane potential, or RPM, is typically at negative 70 millivolts. This voltage is what at all what all processes are trying to maintain. This is a close-up of the cell membrane of the neuron. This is the anterior, interior of the cell. And this is the exterior. This is the potassium channel. And this is the sodium channel. To maintain this negative 70 millivolts, sodium ions and potassium ions are diffused across the membrane through gated channels, which is the role of the ion channels in maintaining the resting membrane potential. While the ions can leak through the membrane like this, most ions diffuse through the sodium-potassium pump. This is the sodium-potassium pump. The pump diffuses the ions like the channels. But instead of letting them leak across, it forces the ions to whichever side the cell of the cell needs them to maintain a slightly negative charge on one side, the negative 70 millivolts. Now you all know about how the resting membrane potential, what, but what exactly is it for? Well, the slightly negative charge of the negative 70 millivolts keeps the neuron ready for stimulation from the electrical signals. While the neuron is stimulated, well, that's another story. The end. <laughs>